on my videos about what type of bits that I like to use. So today I'm going to show you kind of my go-to, uh, especially in dealing with young horses or uh, off-the-track thoroughbreds. Um, so the first bit that I really like is called the Mylar. And um, the Mylar company does a really good job. They shape the bits to the uh, shape of the horse's mouth. So one thing I really like about this bit is that it will never crush a horse's bars per se. So um, your uh, plain snaffle, which is just called the nutcracker type snaffle, um, but you see it comes straight back. Um, I have had some horses that actually prefer this as a bit. Um, Fledge being one of them, he, he does just like the plain loose ring nutcracker type snaffle. Um, a lot of my horses don't like this because it puts too much pressure on the bars of their mouth. Um, so again, you can see the difference between this kind of bit. So when you pull back, what actually happens and it can pinch the tongue. Versus your mylar, there will be no pinching. It can just put an even steady pressure across the whole bottom. And then for your fidgety horses, the tongue likes to roll that. Um, now the thing that I find interesting about this is some horses with the loose ring, this is actually too much play in their mouth. Um, so Johnny, my four star horse, being uh, one of those, I've kind of had to play around with the type of bit. He always likes a mylar or something that's straight, straighter in his mouth. Um, so what I found with him is this is a mylar. Uh, this is the D-ring mylar, and again, he has a bit of a smaller mouth, um, so this was a, this is actually the pony size mylar, uh, level one snaffle, and all I did is I took, um, what is called seal tex, so it's this cool latex bandage, and it's self-sealing, and what you do is you take it, it comes like this, and you just cut little strips like comes right off cut the strips and then you wrap along the bit um, and this worked really well for him so you see it still has the flexibility of the mylar where it can move um, and it's not completely straight like in a hard rubber bit um, so this worked really well in him liking it and being able to kind of take a grip because he's very very sensitive in his mouth um, and this is legal in dressage and in FEI. Just has to make sure it's all really smooth. Um, so this is kind of one of my favorite things I like to use on the really funny mouthed horses. I find that they, they really prefer it. Um, some of the things that you look for when you're putting a bridle in your horse's mouth is if they have a bit and you're not quite sure if they like it, they may play with it a lot versus if they do uh, like the bit, it'll, their mouth will become quiet just in putting on the bridle. Um, so those are the two mylars. Love these two bits. They work really well. Um, the next is kind of your straight rubber bit. This was actually a, a, a happy mouth, which it had two bumps in it. Um, but the wavy bits actually are not FEI legal. So this bit actually got grinded down. It was a little experiment. Um, this bit, which is egg butt, I have used on Riot, and so Riot kind of goes in between, he likes this bit, and he also likes the mylar with the rubber covering. Um, the, the thing going back to the rubber covering is it, it can get kind of nasty, um, so after a little while you will have to take it off clean out your bit and then reapply a fresh uh, rubber covering to it because it just gets kind of gross because of their mouth and have to make sure you clean it and disinfect it. Um, so then back to the rubber bits. Um, so this is just for your happy mouth. Again, I just kind of grinded it down to get rid of the, uh, the waviness so it's smooth. So this is now FEI legal and um, the next kind of rubber bit you can have is, this is the Herm Springer Duo, which is a thinner, um, and it also has a kind of V on the top of it, so, so you can see it kind of goes a little bit in the curve of the mouth, 
Um, horses can kind of really chew on it, so this one's due to get a new one. Um, but this one you see has a touch more give. This one has a little bit. So that all plays into a factor of how soft the horse wants the bit, how hard they want the bit. Um, as far as my off the track horses so far, uh, Sharpie, the war horse, he really prefers the Herm Springer duo. Um, I noticed a huge difference in his relaxation when he was in a metal bit versus if I just put him in this. His mouth gets a lot more quiet. He himself stays way more relaxed. Um, and you want those horses to, to be able to take the bit, to want to hold it in their mouth and not hide against it. It really is a tool um, to work with your horse and to not against it. This is the Nath, which is a little bit thicker. Um, it's thinner in the middle. And this bridle is actually interesting. This is called a PS of Sweden bridle. And it's a bit like the Miklum, so it's a little different from your regular nose cavison. It has um, where it avoids certain pressure points. Uh, this goes on Lear, uh, the Fly With Me, the gray off the track thoroughbred that was in the last RRP. Um, actually though, I've switched him. He was going in this bit, but he's getting pretty fussy. So he went back into the loose ring mylar, which he's pretty happy in. Um, and then, of course, there are some horses that do not like mylars and do not like straight rubber mouths. Um, and they like your, your old-fashioned kind of three-piece. Uh, they seem to, again, it depends on the horse's palate. Um, but most of my horses prefer the round football centerpiece. Um, and I do like the egg butts. Uh, these are really nice egg butts and they're a little bit on the thinner side because again I deal with mostly thoroughbreds um, and along with this bit this is actually a burdoon which is used in a double bridle but I don't use double bridles um, but it has it's nice and a, a bit thinner so it would fit the contour of the horse and this is a KK bit um, so it's a really nice bit Fledgy really likes this bit Fledgy the Mummy Mustang it uh, goes really well in this, in Rune, um, but again, like those guys like that, and then most of, almost all of the thoroughbreds go in either the Nath or Mylar. So uh, this is kind of the go-to when I get a horse in, I kind of play around and see what they like first. Um, and it, it sometimes takes experimenting, but then once your horse does like the bit and they seem pretty quiet, then, you know, there's no sense in changing it. <laughs> and bits are kind of like underwear. No one wants uncomfortable underwear. So they want to make sure the bit, the bit is comfortable for them.